Now to fix fatal error, the first step is to disconnect Logitech G920 racing wheel. So if you have any wheel connected, uh, you can disconnect it because many players are receiving this error because of this wheel. Now when you disconnect it, you should be able to launch the game and you should not receive the error. But if you want to play the game with wheel connected, in that case you can uninstall the current version of G-Hub and then reinstall older version of G-Hub. Now for this, you can go to Logitech website and then the link is provided in the video description and you can select your operating system over here. Now once you select your operating system, on the top you will see the latest version. So for many users installing this 2255 version has worked. So you can try to install the older version. It's not only 225, you can try any other. So you can click on show all downloads over here first. And then you can search for the uh, previous version. So you can uh, download the previous version and then check. So you can even try this 2222.10. So you can try to install the previous version and then check. Next step is to disconnect multiple monitors. So try launching the game on single monitor and then check. Now the next step is to try these in launch options. So you can go to Steam and then make a right click on the game. So this is just an example. So you can make a right click on Rally Desert game and then select properties and over here type in dash DX11 and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can type in dash D3 D11 space and then this is just an example. So dash D3 D11 space dash DX11. Now you can launch the game. If that does not work, you can remove this and follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. For this, you can make a right click on Steam. Make a right click on the game. This is just an example. I don't have the game on Steam. So you can just make a right click then click on browse local files over here. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. So you can just make a right click on the game exe file and then click on run as administrator. Next step is to disable vsync. So launch the game and go to the graphic settings and you can disable the vsync and then check. Next step is to verify the game file. Now for this you can make a right click on the game, select properties and go to the install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification launch the game. Also do a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select the right product type. For me, it's GeForce and then select the right product series. Select your series over here and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. And if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search. Now scroll down. The latest GeForce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.52. So click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box. Put a check on custom, select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and first of all it will uninstall the old driver and then it will do a clean installation of the new driver and after that restart the computer, restart is a must and then launch the game. Now the next step is to perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box 
and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure they put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok and then restart your computer you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel